Hello? So our lesson for today is proportional or non-proportional. So in this lesson, you will be doing two things. The first one is you are going to tell whether the given graph, table, or situation represents proportional relationship or not. And then the second one is you are going to justify your answer, which means you are going to explain your reasoning. So this topic, it is divided into three. So let us have the very first one, which is all about graphs. So how are we going to know if a given graph represents proportional relationship or not? Example number one. So this is example number one. Look at the graph, which is the purple line. Where did it start? What have you noticed? Okay. So this graph represents proportional relationship. Now, how did I know? Because first, it is a straight line. Okay. It is a straight line. Second, it passes through the origin, which means it started at point zero zero. Okay. So that means this graph is proportional. Now, if it is proportional, what is the unit rate? So when we say unit rate, that is the ordered pair wherein x is 1. So look at your x. So this is your x-axis. This is 1. Go up and check the point. The point is here. And the given ordered pair is 1, 3. Therefore, our unit rate is, what is this 3? That's 3 miles, and then 1 is your leg. So for 3 miles, that is per leg, or over 1 leg. So again, this graph is proportional because, first, it is a straight line, second, it passes or it starts with the origin, okay? Next, let's have example number two. Example number two is this graph. Again, look at the line. Where did it start? Okay, so this graph is non-proportional. Why? It is a straight line, correct, but it did not start at the origin. So, zero, zero is what we call the origin. It started at this point, which is 5. It did not start at 0. So, this one is non-proportional. Okay? So, that is how easy it is to tell if the graph is proportional or not. First, it should be a straight line. And second, it should pass through the origin or point zero zero. Okay? Now, this time, let's move on with the second one, which is about tables. How are we going to know if a given table is proportional or not? Table number one. So table number one is a representation of the relationship between the number of pizzas and total cost. Now, for two pizzas, that is equivalent to $12. For four is 24, six is 36, eight is 48. The question is, proportional or non-proportional? So the answer is, proportional. So this table represents a proportional relationship. How did I know? Look at every row. Check if you have the same constant of change or rate of change. So we have 12 divided by 2 is 6. 
24 divided by 4 is 6. 36 divided by 6 is 6. 48 divided by 8 is 6. So we have here the same number or rate of change. Okay? Second reason. If you are going to get the unit rate, let us check if we have equivalent ratios. So which means we will write down the given each row into its fraction form. So $12 over 2. So simplify, 12 divided by 2 is 6. So $6 per pizza. Next, 24 divided by 4. So 24 over 4 is again 6 over 1 pizza. Then we have 36 over 6. When simplified, 36 divided by 6 is $6 per pizza. And the last one is $48 over 8. Simplify is 6 over 1. So if you notice, we have here equivalent ratios. 6 over 1, 6 over 1, 6 over 1, 6 over 1. So therefore, this table is proportional. Okay? Now, let's have example number 2. This is the second table. We're in, same thing. We are talking about the number of pizzas and the total cost. Let's check. If this table represents proportional relationship or not. Look at each row. 10 divided by 1 is 10. 20 divided by 2 is 10. 28 divided by 3 is not 10. It's 8.33. 36 divided by 4 again is not 10 because this is 9. So if you notice, we have different rate of change. So that means this table is non-proportional. Which means it doesn't represent proportional relationship. Okay, so this table is non-proportional. This time... Let's move on with the third one, which is all about word problems or situations. How are we going to know if a given situation represents proportional relationship or not? Let's have example number one. The problem is, Loy packs 12 boxes per hour. How many boxes can he pack in three hours? Again, the given is 12 boxes per hour. So that is the given unit rate. And it doesn't say anything aside from the unit rate. So therefore, boxes. So therefore, this is proportional because... The unit rate is given already and there is no initial value. Which means when we were asked how many boxes can he pack in 3 hours, no other number, no initial number of boxes was given. He started from 0 box. Okay, he started from 0 box. That's why example number 1 is proportional now let's see a non-proportional problem number two so the given is yami is filling up a container at five gallons per minute if the container already has seven gallons when he started how long will it take to fill it out if it can hold 47 gallons Again, the given unit rate is 5 gallons per 
minute. And there is another important number there, which is 7 gallons. So this is the initial value, which means when he started, there is already 7 gallons of water in the container. So, since we have the initial value, he did not start at zero. Therefore, this given is non-proportional. So, that's it.